Hey everyone, Lazarus Face here. Last week I posted the first part to my Payday 2 secret walkthrough. And in that video, I said once I had all 20 achievements, I'm gonna unlock the secret and access the Ark of the Watcher. Requirements include obtaining the safe house trophies, playing the piano melody, and completing all 20 of your cipher achievements. You'll need to find 3 other players who are also worthy, then play the White House safe house heist on overkill difficulty or above. For loadouts, I'd recommend getting inspired ace from the mastermind skill tree and bringing at least one or two ammo bags for defending against the shadow cloakers. You won't really need med bags for the secret part itself, although they might be useful for the beginning part of the heist. Once you're inside the Piok bunker, visit the meeting room to your left. If all requirements for the secret have been met, the painting will be glowing. Now, remove the painting. From this point on, nobody will be able to rejoin your lobby. The host will obtain C4 in their inventory, which must be used to create a hole in the wall. Get on the elevator and pull the lever. On your descent down into the mineshaft, you will see a vault with the all too familiar cryptic language. Note there are four levers in front of it. Do not interact with the vault until your team is 100% ready as the shadow cloakers will start spawning. Drop your ammo bag deployables and hopefully by now you've delegated roles for your crew. One player should focus on solving the riddles while the others will be busy defending. You will be there for the next 20 to 30 minutes but as long as everybody is pitching in and doing their part, uh, things should be pretty easy. Have your cheat sheet out and interact with the vault to begin. Remember the cryptic language is read from right to left, so logically the password should also be from right to left, starting from the outermost ring inwards. In a nutshell, this whole contraption is pretty much a giant combination lock if you think about it. Right, so the outermost ring is the riddle itself, and the three rings inside are used to input the password. And like I said before, the password should be submitted from right to left and top to bottom. Okay, so now you have a rough idea of how the system works. Let's do an example together. The first step should be identifying which riddle you need to solve by translating the last word of the riddle. Next step, you need to know the corresponding answer. In this example here, the riddle ends with the word love. So I need to input the word dance as the password. And the way I would do that is entering the letters A and D in the outer ring, letters E and C in the inner ring, and letter N in the center ring. You have four levers. The lever in the back right rotates ring 3 counterclockwise and also rotates ring 2 clockwise. The lever in the front left rotates ring 2 clockwise and rotates ring 1 counterclockwise. The lever in the front right rotates ring 2 counterclockwise. The lever in the back left submits the password. There's four riddles you need to complete. Always double check your answer before submission. If you mess it up, the game will reset from the first riddle. Yes. While you're busy pulling levers, your teammates should be defending. Cops don't spawn down here, and Shadow Cloaker charge attacks don't count towards the total number of downs before going into police custody. Once you've unlocked the vault, enter the chamber and take your time to admire the architecture. Give yourselves a pat on the back, but prepare for the next stage. The dentist will call your heister's names individually, then inform you he's with Bane and Locke, and suggests you open the door. Your crew should proceed to the waypoint, but once the door has finished opening, do not move further. From where you're standing, kill the dentist. Grab the bag of Mayan gold on the ground and drop it on the marked area. Take the gold bars and place them into the slots on the ground. Congratulations! Once you've succeeded, quit your game and let Steam update with a new Offshore Payday DLC. It's nearly a 1GB download, but you'll unlock the movie theater in the main menu. As individuals, we have opened Final thoughts? 
uh, when I started playing Payday 2 in 2013, I never thought this game would have such a lovely ending. However, there isn't much replayability like Overdrill from the first game, but I've always loved the cinematics for this game. Anyways, I hope this video helps you guys. Feel free to leave any questions or tips in the comments section. Thanks for watching and best of luck. Have earned their pay. The greatest heist of all.